even though you are not a radiologist, and neither am I, you could see in this x-ray of a child's lower extremities that there are some irregularities in the uh, proximal right femur, also probably in the distal femurs, and perhaps subtly in the proximal tibias as well. There is some type of tissue replacing the bone, which is less dense than the tissue. In addition, here are some more detailed x-rays of uh, phalanges, uh, in which you can see a similar situation in which you have a less dense substance here and here and here and here and here, not so much in this bone, replacing normal bone. Well, what in bone is less dense than uh, bone? And that could very easily be cartilage. Here is a microscopic view of those areas in which, if you look pretty closely, uh, you will see that in many respects this resembles normal cartilage. However, it is much more cellular than normal cartilage usually is. As you know, in the average uh, classical normal cartilage, you should see uh, a lot more matrix than you see here. This is much more cellular than normal cartilage. Normally one cell uh, lives in one uh, lacunae and it is widely separated from its neighbors. And here there are uh, a lot of uh, people uh, living close to each other. And I think if we look close enough you'll probably see areas like here. Oh, maybe here. Uh, in which you see more than one uh, chondrocyte living in the lacuna. In addition, some of them are big. As uh, worrisome as this may look like, it is not malignant. Uh, if it would become malignant, you would then call it a chondrosarcoma. This is a chondroma. In a chondrosarcoma, you would see a much more significant degree of uh, cellular um, aberrations, and you would also see perhaps uh, a more invasive process. And of course, uh, if it was truly a sarcoma, uh, it would not look like much like cartilage in, anymore. And this still looks quite a bit like cartilage. And it could very easily uh, metastasize uh, directly through the um, venous uh, system. This is a classical chondroma, benign tumor of cartilage. Thank you very much.